What's good? It's Jagozi. Wednesday, March 11th, 2020, a date with 54 numerology, the 71st day of the year. I already saw a bunch of the propaganda today. The Queen is there. The Queen of England, Royal 71. Sun equals 54 and 18. Murder equals 34. Someone asked to look more into the leap year aspect and you know, why the leap years, etc. We're going to look more into that as well, but... One big key part about that that I want to cover is how pandemic and leap year both equal 43 and 38. And during this leap year, we have a pandemic with coronavirus, which has been by these numbers. Also, just the word leap equals 20 is 2020. And now that the market is, I saw this earlier because I've been playing around. The word down equals 20. The market's been going down this but, you know, let's see if it's actually going to really become a bear market, you know, before we can play around with that and see what's going on. But regardless, it's always by the numbers. 71 is the 20th prime. Death 20. So let's just see the mainstream media. See the propaganda outlet. See what they're giving us. This is breaking news, apparently. No is propaganda. One day, I can't wait. For the day to come where it says CNN dash federal government propaganda, Freemasonic propaganda, latest distraction and deception from the you know who's Trump updates nation on coronavirus. Let's see what this attorney and actor has to say on a date with 45 numerology. Let's see what the 45th president has to say about coronavirus on a date with 45 numerology. This is a turning actor in a day with 5418 numerology. Sun equals 5418. Of course. Coronavirus cases passed 115,000 worldwide. The word killing equals 115. So does Masonic. Killing equals 115. Masonic equals 115. Notice how killing equals 38 and 43 like pandemic. Masonic also equals 43. So here we have a video from the Oval Office, which is just a theater. There's never been a president in the Oval Office. There have only been actors in there. You're being deceived and lied to every single day. Don't forget, today is 113. 113, the big dishonest number. The word dishonest equals 113. Green screen. Mainstream. Bull bullshit. Equals 113 as well, because that's what it is. It's a bunch of bullshit from the Freemasons. Politics equals 113. Not true. No perjury. Perverted. 113. Baba Kamal 113A says it's okay for a Jew to circumvent the Gentile through deception in a legal setting, which is what it always is. It will never not be a legal setting. And Scottish equals 113. That's probably the most important, this, despite the fact that all this, despite everything I've shown, because it is the Scottish Rite Freemasons putting all this out. It is dishonest right Freemasonry. Bernie Sanders speaks candidly about why he's losing. I mean, as I'm telling you, on 113, they're clearly lying to you this hard. Speaking candidly, like talking about truths, you know, being honest on 113, the big dishonest number. Bernie Sanders is a dishonest man. How? Because he is an actor for the federal government, and he does not let you know that. He does not let you know that this is an agenda. The elections are rigged. He was never meant to win. He doesn't tell you that Donald Trump's an actor, that they're both co-workers. So, yes, this message could be good here and there, but Bernie Sanders himself doesn't give a fuck about you. He just cares to give a shit about his paycheck. And his agenda and his brotherhood because he's very well a Freemason. Fans not allowed at March Madness as virus spreads. It's just more contrived propaganda from the NCAA. The NCAA created this coronavirus and all the propaganda. Why? Because the NCAA is the WHO, which is the CDC, which is Wuhan, China, and all that stuff. It's the same one world order doing it all. It is the synagogue of Satan, Synagogue, Satan equals 64, 311, 3 slash 11, the 64th prime, 311. Since the novel
coronavirus first appeared in Wuhan, China. They keep calling it novel coronavirus, and then it's just like, come on, of all the things in that predictive programming of a Dean Koontz novel back in 1981, never think that's a coincidence. I love this three three minute ten second video. Understand me? I might not call every single number, but can, can you just understand that if you're always doing this, you can already see the patterns that you're going to expect to see. They were going to click on March Madness, so I was looking at oh basketball. You know, we're going to get numbers for basketball twenty two, but it equals thirty one with the x exception. S the nineteenth letter, one plus nine is ten. I want to do a video soon showing you Gematria from the basics. There's another primer, but I just want to get this video out while I could. So I know a lot of y'all have been liking this, showing the daily, what's going on, the previews of the propaganda. So March Madness will be held without fans, which I, I mean, I, yeah, it's just stupid. Like, I, I get it, but I like it in a sense where, yes, no one's wasting their fucking time sitting there. But guess what? They're going to be on the TV now. That's even more advertising that's going to get sucked into their minds. Like, they're going to use this to really help their agenda out even more. No one can protect these Syrian kids from the bombs. This group is at least trying to give them the skills to cope. And it's the, guess what this group is? They're related to this gang. Create the problem, provide the solution. That's what they're doing. They, they've created the problem. They, CNN are bombing the Syrian kids. And here's the solution they're providing you. It is disgusting. Five takeaways from Super Tuesday 2. Biden begins his pivot. Guys, if the market starts to recover from this piece of propaganda, you've seen it here. Or it could pivot down. I mean, you know, Bart, I'm getting ahead of myself. Biden begins his pivot. And what if this market just starts to pivot and climb back up from today? I'm not calling it anything. I'm not predicting anything. But... You know what I mean? Let's just see where it's at. Document this. See if, if they put these type of clues inside the propaganda. This is how we research. I'm not saying anything's for certain, but let's see where it's at. But this is what they do. I mean, who who do you think runs the market? It's the same people. <laughs> Down 5% today? I mean, this means people are pulling money out of the, the all the companies in the overall market. Who runs most of the money? Who controls most of the wealth? These people. They can easily manipulate the S&P 500. Some people wonder, how do you do it? I mean, if you have, if you control most of the wealth, you just use your institutions to buy and sell shares, remove wealth over a period of time. You know, they do it over a course of days. So see where it's at now. If this is the low and it pivots and starts to recover from here on out, could this be some propaganda talking about it? Or again, it could just keep selling off. So I don't know, but we see where it's at now. Let's document this. We can come back to it. Because they're talking about Biden. They're not, they're, not talking about, they're not talking about something so direct. But you know, it's always good to document. So that's really it. I'm going to put up more videos today. I'm not, This is not the last video of the day. So all those of y'all who like watching a lot of my videos, really appreciate the continued viewership. I'm going to put up some more videos for you today about various requests and whatnot. But I want to close off with something that I can easily decode real quick. I mean... We're already good with content. I kind of want to talk about Betsy DeVos. I mean, she's on the front page. Or we can look more about Trump updating nation on coronavirus. I mean, people are probably going to want to look at coronavirus. No one gives a fuck about Betsy DeVos, which is great. Who gives a fuck? Guys, he's just an actor for the Freemasons. I'm sure half the people in America don't even know who she is. I, I, I like how that's the case. But guess what they're trying to program you? Oh, you're ignorant. You don't know who Betsy DeVos is? You know, you don't know what's going on with the education? and like... Yeah, the education system's bullshit. It's com complete nonsense crap. If you don't know Betsy DeVos is because you don't pay attention to this nonsense bullshit propaganda, that's great. You don't know if you don't know who any of these actors are. It's a bunch of bunch of baloney. Soon, Trump will deliver an address on coronavirus. Let's see what soon equals. They're putting some 
coding in here and making it all caps. 1845. On a date with 1845 numerology. Sun equals 18. 45 to some Saturn's magic square. Soon equals 27. 40, see what I'm saying? It's always by the code. The Saturnian actor in this type of coded propaganda. <laughs> the Saturnian actor. Look, soon. S O O N. All capital. You use the capital cipher, the Francis Bacon, that takes into account the capital letters. 167. 167 is the 39th prime number. Saturn equals 93, the reflection. You see how Donald Trump's clearly being used in this Saturnian riddle. That's why they do this. They didn't have to do this. That's why you can know you should decode this. These people are so repetitive. Donald Trump is an actor. You got to get it through your head. Trump 29 here at 902, the reflection. This is the most aggressive and comprehensive effort to confront a foreign virus in modern history. Those who call it foreign, there's nothing foreign about it. It's from the federal government. It's from them. And the federal government is worldwide. This is one world order, worldwide Freemasonic network. But they make it say it's foreign. It's the Chinese. All they're eating bat soup, so that's their fault. Like, no, it's contrived. They created If there's anything going around, they created it, and they're doing it. Or then, you know, it's something mild, and they're sensationalizing it. It's clearly something from these people. They're doing... They, Brought it out by the numbers. They're carrying it out by the numbers. Your USA 41, that's your 13th prime. Trump is confident that the U.S. will expedite. I'm not even going to pronounce that. I'm sorry, I should be able to. But you see, I mean, I'm just trying to show you these really clear examples. They didn't have to put this... And we'll close off with this. This is such a good piece to close off with. You see how they put confident in quotes. It equals 45, which is the sum of Saturn's magic square. And Donald Trump is the 45th president. Jesuit order equals 153. Sun equals 9. They have the logos of sun. Trump is confident that the U.S. will, will this. So do you see? I mean, if you're new to this channel, how low, uh, much of a low-hanging fruit is this? The 45th president, they put this in quotes. 45 in the most pure cipher, forwards and backwards as well. And look what they quote here. Exped I don't know, I see I don't know, you know I know it's the word for expedites, but when you change it to this form, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just gonna admit it. But they equals they both equal ninety as well. When you write out ninety, you get thirty-three. So you see how they're putting the same number in both of these words using the alphabetical order. Using the alphabetical order, confident equals ninety. And then this second phrase, expeditiously defeat equals 90 and 99. On a date with 1845 numerology, 54 numerology, sun 1854, 9, 9 numerology. On a date with 9 numerology, confident equals 90, this equals 90 and 99. It's by the numbers. Might as well see how many days from Donald Trump's birthday it is then. And once you see, that's kind of why I do this sometimes. I see that main pattern they're doing, and now I'm wondering. So quickly from today, today to his upcoming June 14th birthday. Three months, three days. Make America Great Again equals 134, but three months, three days, you know, 33. 95 days. That's been a big number in this as well. It's been 96 days for Mason 96, three months, four days. So, I mean, again, it's the same crap every single day. The president speaks as U.S. cases surpassed 1,200. 12 is the number for completion, so they could be completing some phase of the ritual with this, nu this numerical piece of propaganda. One more thing, president equals 110. Remember, Elizabeth Warren... Ended her campaign for president 110 days from her birthday. Now we have Bernie Sanders speaking candidly about why he's losing in a minute 10 video. It is the number for president. It is always by this code. It is by the numbers from the Freemasons. Peace out.